Representation from different factions of society spoke out on the bill, which some consider is meant to control the people. The control bill, a total control bill. It's a total control that the government is seeking of the people. It is. It has nothing to do with health. And I'm concerned with what is going on here, not only this particular issue, but all around. We have what we call a one-party state here, and we have a dictatorship. And you cannot, you cannot have a dictatorship in a democracy. The purpose of this bill, which is supposed to be a health measure, right? First of all, you would see there is significant um, overreach in the bill. Uh, and I think that it, it puts us in a really precarious position. These two individuals say they have been living in Grenada for years and are fearful of the change that is presenting itself. No need, they say, for a bill. And uh, I do not agree with the bill, simply because uh, uh, we don't have any cases, so there is no emergency on the island. Why put a bill? We can continue as we did observing the laws and uh, caring for each other's health. And I wanted to remain uh, as I met it. So I don't want any change, uh, you know, I don't want any <laughs> loss of freedom. Yes, we respect the law. We have no cases, so I agree with what uh, my friend said. Some people believe they should have been included in the process and clearly expressed that they are not ready for this. A bill going to Parliament is supposed to be representation of the people's concerns. The people have not been given the opportunity to consult on that bill. They've not had the opportunity to make an input into the bill. Um, yet those who claim to represent us are saying that they represent us. The bill was declared without the people knowing. So who say, because they said it's not going to happen today, that it really will not? Everything is a secret from the people of Grenada. Government maintains the COVID-19 control bill is for the public's safety and the regulations already exist. However, the bill will bring an end to the state of emergency. But leader of the National Democratic Congress, Franca Alexis Bernadine, says if there is no case of COVID-19, there's no need for the bill. Tell us that we are COVID-19 COVID, um, free. And on the other hand, you tell us that we go into a state of emergency. These two are not compatible. See? So therefore, there's more in the pot. There's some other reason behind it. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, speaking at today's sitting of Parliament, stated government's stance on the COVID-19 control bill, saying it's not meant to control the people. That while we talk about this, and quite rightly so, we should talk also about the fear and the problems that may emerge if we do not stay the course. There's some persons who may believe that we are being too harsh and dictatorial and hearing these comments about dictatorship, dictatorship in trying to protect people's lives. We have to be careful. We deal with issues, yes. If there's an error, let's deal with it and express ourselves. But don't forget the main thing, protection of lives of the people of our country. Christina John, GBN News.